today's little adventure finds me back in Ipswich, the Julia Bird Reservation. This is the upper polo field. I'm right near the railroad tracks here. And I'm gonna go this way and get this trail. Take a look at the terracing along the Ipswich River this way before heading that way and off to Appleton. This is a very lively wetland that follows the Ipswich River. There it is. All its splendor. And there's the old railroad bridge. Through the trees. It's relatively early. River follows the upper side of this property. It's owned by the Essex County Greenbelt Association. Essex County in general has a wonderful array of open space preservation organizations. You can see it's a working field for dressage. And I don't know much about polo, mind you, but there's elements of practice for it here, I guess. You get a good sense of the terracing almost right away when you follow this upper bow of the property along the river line. Notice how much lower the ground is on the opposite shore. when the glacier systems scoured this area out. They moved a lot of stuff on that side and made a basin. But this was kind of like the rim of the basin. It's kind of an overcast day, but in a way that's fine. Those work well for these simple exploration trips. I was here on the 30th of May.
see the height difference continues, of course. You can hear what sounds like either a flicker or a pillie. I got a little sort of corral around the tree. <coughs> Split rail fences. This is one of the few parts of Massachusetts where polo happens. <laughs> there are bound to be a few others, but. One of the main ones. Let's take another little look at the river edge. Oh, yeah. You kind of have old shifted back channel things. Very pronounced edge. No, I believe <coughs> I'll find the riverside trail section momentarily. Polo goalposts. Woodpecker drumming. Probably was affiliated. ever-present scolding chip. The lookout species. The micro prairie dog. Quite an expanse.